Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising monthly general tarot reading for January 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I wanted to remind you guys that this is a general reading for Taurus star sign and it's uh, it's resonation or it's going to resonate with every single one of us in a different level if you want a personal reading with me, uh, my website is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can find a personal. Uh, there you can find the services and their pricings as well. All the list of that, and uh, you know, for all the. Uh, if you do have additional inquiries, uh, you can kind of uh, mail me because my email is going to be as well down there in the description of this video. Now that being said, going to the tarot spread here, the first card that we do have, by the way, this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread. So we are to pull a, a multiple cards for position, but the first position as a topic of your month, Tauruses, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, followed by a second position, which is the uh, intentions or the best possible approach here, that will be the Nine of Swords, Followed by a third position, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments here. That will be the Ace of Pentacles. Followed by the Seven of Pentacles, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. And the last one, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles as a final outcome. So this month is going to be a month of, just for the uh, cumulative look here from the reading, this month is going to be a month of a huge retrospection of probably the previous year uh, or undertakings that uh, have been um, have failed that is very important as well so we can learn or you Tauruses can learn from your lesson either from a, uh, um, a failed relationship or from a fa failed project into your career and etc etc what we do have here is a retrospection and a very deep analysis of why things didn't work out your way so uh, that being said, let's dive deeper into the positions here because in those positions uh, is also hidden the key how things can be uh, improved for the month because these are, as I said, general readings and in the general reading we are looking for the potential how things can be improved to a their greatest extent. So we do have the Ace of Swords into the prime position or the topic of the we of the month uh, with accompanied by the High Priestess. So it does look like here that the more you deliberate and the more you ask of why and how the things went wrong recently, the more you will start to understand that uh, it's basically all that enterprise and all these activities you were involved in which was much or were much bigger than uh, you have initially anticipated. And unfortunately, what I want to tell you here with these couple of cards is that probably you jumped into them a little bit unprepared. What we do have here is not just that you are going to be able to foresee and kind of like to place the accurate diagnosis of your situation currently into your relationship and into your career. Just to give you an example relationship wise, uh, just one second guys. Alright, so just to give you an example relationship wise, uh, I don't want to really give that example because it's a really very... Um, poignant one but let's say that you are uh, that uh, someone is misfortunate in their relationship seeing that their partner is really treating them like like a piece of garbage and they sit into that relationship hoping that the things are going to change well in the month of um, January in case these people are Tauruses and in case that is their uh, situation they will realize that this ain't gonna change right it's just it is what it is you are going to place the accurate diagnosis upon your career and upon your relationship and upon everything that surrounds you. I know just that, but you are also going to understand it here with the High Priestess. And the more you start understanding it, the more you will realize that your eyes are yet to open. 
and you are to foresee where or how your escape route is um, is laid down and what you need to do in order to take it. Now this itself could lead to uh, abandoning relationships, abandoning job positions, all right, or just or sapping a uh, friend interactions and etc. etc. But it's going to be a necessary clearance here with the Ace of Swords, a necessary truth that you need to comprehend. So you can uh, place them as a foundation, as a, a prerequisite of yourself in order to move on forward with your future Tauruses and next time when you do have a similar situation, not to repeat the same mistake again. Intentional wise, what we do have here, that is the, seven, the Nine of Swords accompanied with the Two of Pentacles. Actually, this is a, a very good combination even though the seven the nine of swords seems ominous and morbid all right but what we do have here is is that the more uh, you kind of occupy your your mind and in generally your um your daily routine with different stuff you know and you become uh, or in your adapting a standpoint of being playful and of um I don't know how to say it, but involving yourself with those side things, peripheral things which are kind of keeping you busy and they're keeping you uh, occupied, the more uh, you are going to kind of like make yourself much easy, make on yourself much easy to take on the responsibilities of, uh, of the situation here that you have recently comprehended. Now, as well, what is important with these cards, very difficult to explain, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not making much sense here, but it's very difficult to explain that situation as a, a follow-up of these cards here. But generally what these cards speak here is, is that the more you see the world around you, the more you are going to realize in what kind of a situation you are. And how you are to experience the world around you, it is where you allow yourself to involve yourself in a, a different undertaking and enterprises not taken until this very moment. You are to start questioning your relationship, you are to start questioning your career. For example, you're sitting several years in the same place into your career, you know, no promotion, no raise, and yet you are now involving yourself of let's say in a private work for a different company and you're seeing how much you can do you know you're seeing how much actually people are valuing you there and you are start questioning your current position in job saying to yourself you know well why i am in such of a disadvantageable situation since you know there are other people who are valuing me way more than where i should be valued to my accurate extent you know from these kind of uh, involvements of your behalf you are to start realizing your uh, and putting the correct diagnosis you know of your current situations and on top of that realizing you know what you're worth and believe me with these cards for a while i can see you worth way more than actually is given to you however when we go to the uh, ace of pentacles here which is the card that causes predicaments which is the challenge we are seeing with this car let me pull one additional here that is going to be the world that, so we are talking here definitely from for maintaining or regaining back your personal sovereignty and personal independence and that here is going to be a challenge is not gonna go away easy all right so for example if that is your relationship uh, your current husband or a wife or your current partner is not gonna just let you go all right they will put a, a very fearsome defense or kind of like a, a very fearsome fight to keep you by them side why it is because what they can do whatever they want it is simply what it is shown here in the card or if this is not about your relationship same thing goes for your career you want to you want to leave it well your boss is going to do whatever they can to keep you around because they get a lot for paying you little so what we are seeing here from these cards is that the whole process of um, of liberating yourself and of uh, a whole process of detachment based on the comprehensive sense that you do have now upon your situation the new look the new perspective that you have obtained throughout the month is going to be challenged in self itself because a you have uh, tied with strings there 
for example contracts or for example you do have a child with that person and etc etc and also is going to be uncomfortable unfortunately is going to require from you to disturb so-called harmony uh, an, or an, an illusion of a harmony that you are living in until this very moment and uh, with the ace of pentacles here also and the world card also it may be a difficulty for you to imagine yourself being more than you are actually are and that is a, a typical situation for the people uh, that are in a similar um, a typical standpoint for the people that are in a similar situations you know because uh, it's um for example, a relationship abuser, just for an example, they make you think that you will be nothing without them. You know, so th this is one way how they manipulate people or their partners, quote in quote, making them think that these people will be, will be nothing without their molesters and without their uh, without their tormentors. All right. So you are starting here, Tauruses, whatever that situation is for you, either relationship-wise or career-wise, with a bit of a disadvantage here, all right? But you need to know that that is a predicament once again, and you can and should overcome that sense of insecurity, you know, that you can be much more happier or successful as soon as you start making steps, you realize, you know, again, you, you place the accurate diagnosis here and you realize how much you're worth. And when you realize how much you're worth, well, well then you are going to require a request a, an accurate payment for it, either an emotional payment or a material payment and etc. etc. But it's again very important here is to not be afraid you know to raise your voice not to be afraid to be a rebellion to be a rebellion person to a rebellious person all right or to be a rebel not to be afraid to actually stand for yourself and to show that this time around you will not allow anybody to basically boss you around and to to fuck with you it's it's simply as that and this time around you will show or you have to show to these people that you are a human being and you do have the right to be happy and to have your personal independence very important the next card that we do have for you Taurus is that is going to be the seven of pentacles and this is the guidance here so one second uh, to draw one more card that is going to be the wheel of fortune so a very peculiar uh, kind of like um, a combination so what we do have with these cards is that uh, you should how can I place it um, create the situations for yourself now if you think with that uh, with that combination if you think that the right time is gonna come on its own that is that isn't true it's not gonna come on its own I mean you have to create for yourself the situation and the, the the timing so you can make your actions in order to detach yourself from the strings that I have just spoken about what we do have is a car of waiting here seven of uh, seven of pentacles which is kind of like scaling the uh, uh, how much you know as I said you worth and how much you take away from it and the more this card weakens the more strength so the wheel of fortune feeds on that card all right which means that with the waiting and with the hope the things are going to change on their own accord things aren't going to go very well so what these these cards here as an advice giving you is that um kind of foreseeing or spotting the opportunity is one thing you know real and again spotting the opportunity what I mean is realizing that you are in a disadvantageable position that is one thing but constantly thinking about it and overthinking it and constantly talking about it is not gonna solve your problem and uh, you may miss the chance to seize it so as soon as you place that accurate diagnosis you know as soon as you comprehend your situation and you realize in reality in what in uh, what kind of a spot you're finding yourself at and actions needs to be uh taken here with the wheel of, with the wheel of fortune now uh 
itself as, as soon as you are determined to make a move now this card is pointing that the means necessary in order to make that move is going to be offered to you Tauruses but it will require your agility or agile perception agile mind in order to take advantage of them and again uh, we are coming back here to this um, to intentional cards which are pointing that you should explore you should involve yourself in different enterprises from those which are a um, imperative for you or a mandatory for you just so you can discover more from the world and see that the world is more than you are invest in at this specific moment and the last card that we do have for you Taurus is this is going to be the Knights of Pentacles so let me draw one more card that is to be the King of Pentacles the next card so we do have a person at the end someone that this time around believes in you so uh, at the end as soon as you are determined to search for a, a better future for yourself or for a, a better position a person comes around again person not necessarily a male but a person comes around that is going to give you slowly but steady with the proof well they demand the proof will demand the proof whatever you need in order to feel yourself satisfied emotionally uh, fulfilled business wise or career wise friendship wise and etc etc the thing with this person uh, explained just like that in a situation um, with the Knights of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles well these are people who are giving uh, giving away things or kind of predisposition you slowly just so they can see see how far you are ready to go in order to uh, in order to improve yourself or to place yourself in outside of your comfort zone and do whatever it's needed in order to reach a, a certain goal all right or in this case the goal is to adopt new positions which are this time around the accurate positions according to how much you worth so these this person here sees how much you worth but they will not be very convinced that you do have the self-esteem and the self-confidence uh, to support it all right so they will start boosting it slowly but steady by giving you for example if it is your career by giving you tasks small tasks here and there just so you just so they can see how well you manage with them you know how well uh, you handle pressure and etc etc so they will going to uh, how can I place it develop your uh, uncovered potential until this very moment slowly but steady so you can kind of start uh, start boosting your personal confidence in your personal self-esteem what is very important with these people is that if you decide to involve yourself emotionally with them like um, relationship wise uh, or uh, if you decide to make a business with uh, with that person here like career wise you know you need to know that uh, you cannot simply um, sign off all right and uh, if they uh, how can I place it if they decide to invest in you either emotionally or materially they see a, a true value you should know be grateful right because they have a lot to win from that situation as well all right and by that being said what I'm trying to say here is is that you are to find a, a person who sees for what you are emotionally or materially you know and they are ready to pay it off they are ready to give you uh, the uh, the salary you require or the um, the mutual emotional connection that you require and etc etc but this is going to be a, a slow process they will test you that person is going to test you for how far you're willing to go because they are willing to go to its very end this person does not leave things unfinished as long as these things depend on them and they do not invest anything if they are not a hundred percent sure that the investment actually worth it and this is going to be a clear sign guys that you worth way more than you are presented at this very moment so that being said sources this was your monthly tar reading for january 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was a general reading for tauruses and is going to uh synergize or is going to um what was the word here 
uh, resonate in a different level with every single one of us based on our personal situations. If you want a personal reading where you are, we are going to specifically discuss your personal situation and pull a card for it, well then check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!